Yo, what is up guys, Vultures here, back with a brand new episode for you guys of Blue and CD Battles, and today guys, we're having our 600 subscriber Q&A, so thank you all for subscribing to me, watching my videos, and just giving me all your support, it's just been crazy recently for my channel, um, my channel has been growing rapidly, and um, I said that I was going to be doing a Q&A every 100 subs, however, I think I'm going to change that, I'm going to be having my next Q&A at 1000 subs, just due to all of the amount of new subscribers I'm getting and also guys I'm starting to feel better um, slowly I'm getting there so thank you all for wishing me like well hope, hoping I would feel better soon um, really do appreciate that guys but um without further ado let's get into the video so the first question we got is from Derpifer and he asked how do you think about balloons memes um, such as zero zero dart monkey camo regrow reds etc well, I really don't think too much of them. I really don't ever try to incorporate them into a joke, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I don't really use them too much, and I don't find them that funny. The next question we have is from E Potato Acid Hand 1082 and he asks, Will you allow self-promoting sellouts on your channel? If so, watch my video. No. Next question comes from Anthony Games, Minecraft and More, and he asks, Why did you start YouTube? So, a while back, I actually had a this question in my first Q&A or second Q&A, I can't remember. But anyways, I started YouTube because I recently found out in mid-December about this game, Balloon City Battles, and I really enjoyed it. So I searched it up on YouTube, and there was a, a lot of people that I saw and like that I enjoyed watching, and I was like, why don't I just start uploading videos? And because I just found it like really fun to play, and also if I had like uploaded a video, and I would get like feedback from it and shit, like it made me feel really good. So like, it was just really fun, you know, just a like, cool little hobby. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much why I started YouTube. The next question comes from Easebar and he says, You're reaching 600 subs swiftly like Blazer would say, so I'm leaving hashtag Q&A here itself. Do you listen to music? If then, what kind? Well, I hope that every human being on this planet listens to music, because if they're not, then they're missing out. But yes, I do listen to music, and I like all kinds of music, honestly, but I mainly listen to rap and hip-hop. Um, some of my favorite artists right now are probably Drake with his new More Life album, and um, I really enjoy um, Kodak, and I Ray Shrimmerd, just all those rappers, like, I really enjoyed all their music. So hopefully you guys don't judge me too hard for that, because I'm sure some of you don't like those people. The next question comes from E Potato Acid Hand again. He asks, "If you had one mil subs, would you sell out?" I guess that's what it's saying. Um, no, I would not sell out. Um, I would always be there for my fans, like you know, because obviously the people watching you are the reason why you're in that position, and it's not right to do that. So no, I would never do that. All right, guys. So the next question comes from Gabriel Cheesecake, and he asks, "What's your favorite animal?" Honestly, my favorite animal is probably just a dog. I'm pretty much just like basic person, like I said, with like the chicken finger question or whatever in the last Q&A. So yeah. All right. So the next question comes from J-O-N-O, -O, Jono, and he asks, question for tomorrow, maybe. And by the way, he said that because he was saying I was gaining so many subs so quickly. So that's why I said that. But anyways, he basically just fucking put this whole little thing to try to make me stutter. But let's see if we can get through this. Peter Piper, <laughs> I already fucked up. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers. Peter Pip. What the fuck? So the next question comes from Emmanuel H, and he asks, "What is currently the best tower in BTD battles?" Well, I'm gonna have to say the Dart Monkey is the best tower. Um, I actually have a video that I uploaded a long time ago saying like what the five top five best towers are in the game. And I had Dart Monkey at the number one position, and I think I still have it at that. Well, I, I would still put it at that because it is a fucking awesome tower, guys, in every way. Um, with the Juggernaut and the Triple Dart and Super Monkey Fan Club ability, it's just insane. There's not very many towers in the game where both left and right sides of the upgrades are good, so that's why I put it at number one. Moving on to the next question, guys. It comes from Bazatronio Teabag. Hopefully, I did not butcher that. Anyways, guys, he asks, Will you create a clan for your subs? If so, I went in so we can grind to chest nine. Um, as of right now, I'm not going to. However, maybe one day, honestly. Um, I would only accept like really good players, though. 
Um, sorry to any of you who are bad. No, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm sure you're all fucking amazing at this game. Anyways, guys, next question comes from Krosnik123, and he asks, Hey, Voltrix, congrats on 600 subs, but what other games are coming in the future? More Minecraft? Um, thank you, dude, first of all, for congratulating me. And second of all, um, for right now, I'm going to be sticking with Bloons TD Battles um, because the majority of my viewers want to see this content. So I'm going to continue like with this, like uploading mainly this. However, I do want to play more Minecraft, but like I said, um, the majority of people want to see balloons. So whenever I upload Minecraft, it doesn't do too very like do too well. Um, but I will upload a Minecraft video here and there. So yeah, probably more Minecraft and hopefully some other games um, because my friend Tank Void is actually looking into buying some games with me on Steam. So hopefully we can upload a couple of games onto my channel. So the next question guys comes from Soggy Biscuits and he asks, did you ever think that you'd grow this fast? And also, what do you think about my channel? Please check it out. Well, um, you just plugged right there. So that was pretty smart. But anyways, um, no, I actually did not think I would grow this fast. Um, it's honestly amazing guys. We're growing so fast and it's all thanks to each and every one of you watching right now. So I thank you all, but um, no, I did not think I was going to grow this fast. And yeah, go check them out, guys. The next question comes from Blue Natic, and he asks, What is your favorite tower and what is your favorite map? Well, technically speaking, my favorite tower is probably the banana farm, but I think he's like talking about like a tower that can actually pop balloons. So my favorite tower, honestly, is probably still the ninja. However, that doesn't mean the dart monkey is not the best. I just really do enjoy using the ninja. It's really fun. It's really easy. And yeah, it's, yeah, my favorite map, hmm, this is a tough one, honestly, but um, I'm probably going to have to go with Offside. I really do enjoy Offside. It's a really fun map, um, really the e like really easy to use, um, the Dark Monkey, actually, with it. So that's really nice. And it's not too long, not too short, just right. So yeah, I really do enjoy that map. The next question comes from Adamic, and he asks, how old are you? So the only reason why I included this in my video is because another person asked, asked this as well. But anyways, guys, I'm 18 years old. I actually have that in the description of each and every one of my videos. I have a bunch of frequently asked questions. So if any of you are new to my channel and are watching this right now, go make sure to check out the description because there are a lot of important frequently asked questions in there. Anyways, guys, let's move on to the next question. So the next question comes from seven times harder. This is my dude, by the way. But anyways, he asks, besides VTD, have you ever considered playing other games? And also to add on to the question, would you ever randomly play indie games, non-competitive slash old games, slash puzzle, or horror, or C and C games. Wow. Okay. So like I said with the other question that Chronic asks, Krosnik or Chronic asks, I can't remember how to say it, but anyways. Um, yes, I'm going to be uh, playing other games. As of right now, though, I'm not. I'm going to mainly upload BTD, like I said, because that's the majority of people want to see of all of my viewers. Um, so I'm going to be mainly uploading that um but yeah i actually do play a couple other games like i said minecraft go with friends and i actually downloaded a couple of steam games free ones though um any games uh yeah i would randomly play those honestly um it depends on what it is honestly um you know i'm not gonna like every single indie game but i actually did like a, a lot of indie games on xbox 360 probably play a bunch of random indie, indie games because they're usually pretty fun so yeah and the next question goes from my dogs bro and he asks, I'm excited for that video tomorrow and a question for the Q&A vid coming up since I didn't get the chance for the last one. What is the most embarrassing moment you've ever had? So the most embarrassing moment probably for me was when I actually was dating this girl and um, we didn't have our first kiss yet. So um, I really wanted to and I kind of like forced it on her. Like, I don't know, like I didn't fucking like rape her or anything, but like I wanted to kiss her and... I don't know, she was kind of down with it, but she wasn't at the same time. Um, so, but she leaned in, it's not like I fucking just like, you know, forcefully did it. But like, she leaned in as well, but it was like the most awkward thing ever. It was so embarrassing, and we ended up breaking up after that, that same night. So that was pretty fucking bad. I was pretty embarrassed of that. It was just really bad. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. If you did, in fact, enjoy, make sure to drop a like. And also, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, because my channel is fucking lit, guys. And I upload daily videos for you guys so you guys can come back every single day and see a brand new video from your boy Bulltrix. And yeah, that's about it for me guys. It's been Bulltrix. Peace out and have a fantastic day.